Okay. I didn't say I was, uh... No, no, no. It's... Um, so we have a 1200GS here with a, um, what looks to be a Touratech skid plate. No, BMW. Oh, BMW skid plate, I'm sorry. And, uh, this is oil on the ground, so we got an engine case problem. Um, luckily we've only got 14 more miles to go on the trail. Oh, that's okay. And, uh, the rest of it is all pretty much gravel road. So, I'm just going to use this as an example. And, uh, you can see this skid plate, how it's mounted. I don't know if you can see in there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, Does anybody else have any oil? But it's just mounted a certain way that when you hit a rock, boulder, and we did Lockhart Basin today, which is a expert level trail. Um, these things might happen. Now I'm going to use this as a comparison, not to downgrade that skid plate, but uh, Jason, Ryan, and myself, we all run this skid plate by Black Dog, which... Um, it's a monster, pure and simple. Uh, it's uh, the new word that Jason and Ryan and I have been using. I think Jim Hyde coined it from when he did some of the Utah Backcountry Discovery route with Jason. is simply awesome. Um, this thing is built like the proverbial shithouse, brick shithouse I should say. You can see I've I've beat the hell out of it, and it it's tough as nails. I mean, it's heavy gauge. Um, but the mounting points are what make this skid plate special. Not besides the the heavy duty plating, it's just a beast, and it really does a great job. Thank you, Black Dog.